Hello, howdy, folks. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. Saturday night's hanging out in Firth Walked. I think last episode we just, yep, we piled on all our food and we're ready to move, I think. I'm, I'm heavily considering going back. Uh, wait, maybe it was this one. It was one of these that we attacked and we almost killed everything. So I think it stands to reason that if we return, it should be a much easier fight. I think so. We'll go try that out. Hopefully out here we can find some orc spots because we need to kill one more orc den so we can finally get rid of this uh, ambition. Now, before we go, um, I just want to mention there's been so much, um, you know, discussion and on all these videos. It's, it's awesome. I really like it. Um, so we've had another request to uh, have another bro. And because we're not really looking to hire right now, I think what I'm going to do is take old Hammond here, who hasn't... He's... Right now, he's just a guy. He hasn't really made a name for himself. We're going to go ahead and rename him to Aid Blade. I think, I think that's how you say it. You can let me know in the comments if that's not how you say it. I was, I was thinking it's Aid Blade or, or Aid Blade. But I, I'll, I'll probably end up accidentally calling them both as we go. And I've been thinking um, from Mr. Lehman in the comments, uh, some of the, he mentioned a spear master, and I haven't actually used a spear master before, but it sounds like it could be fun, especially against orcs and stuff like that. So I'm strongly considering making Aid Blade um, a spear master tank. We'll, we'll see though. We still have a little while. We have a couple of more must must picks like Underdog and Battle Forged and some of the basics to make him a, a melee guy, regardless of, of one handed or two handed. So we still have some choice to decide. Aid Blade, if you're if you're still watching, you can let me know if you strongly prefer one or the other. But you do have the melee defense to to be an excellent two hander in the in the way of Ike and Duke. But if your melee skill doesn't quite turn out, you're going to be really good with a spear in hand because that spear is going to give you a heck of a good um, increase to your melee skill bonus. That could be the deciding factor. But either way, you're going to be very tanky. And I can't think of a better person to have as a spear master than a super tanky tank. Okay. Gosh, I guess, uh, I guess it's time for some adventure. We, we don't have a lot... We don't, we don't have a lot of money. We really need some money, badly. Oh, man. Yeah, we do. I guess what we're gonna do is head on out to these goblins and then maybe we'll pick up some skeletons on the way home for some extra cash and hopefully sell all that. So why don't we get moving? I haven't gotten to this to the point in the game in Battle Brothers before when I'm just bleeding money like a sieve. I don't like that at all. But we gotta develop some of our new guys so that we can start phasing out the old and, and kind of forming up a much better, more well-rounded and cheaper company or or figure out better ways to make money. And I think, I think oh, that is mostly gonna depend on a plethora of ancient legionaries. Yeah, I think we could do that on the way home. Yeah, we could totally do that. Maybe get uh, a grail or, or whatever the golden cup is. Zugat Nazat. Sure. Let's see if it's repopulated. There's a bunch of ghouls. Who cares? So a wolf rider. A few goblin skirmishers. Yeah, okay. It looks like they're still beaten up from the last time we were there. And do you think... I don't know. Maybe we could get them with the ghouls. But I doubt it because the ghouls aren't chasing us. Someone also mentioned that in the comments. And that's a great idea is dragging in um, some, some other enemies into a really nasty encounter like the, um, other goblin fortress over there. Okay. We're fighting a lot of goblins. Let's take Gaudron out, put Raynor in. Look at that. We want all these bows. We absolutely want all these bows. Wolf or Fritzy? You know, um, I don't want Fritzy to get wrecked by ambushers in this. Alfred, Duke, Thilman, let's... Oh, Thilman needs four experience. I'm going to take him out anyway because he's he's crippled and I, I don't... 
he's not going to be very quick. And so him chasing down goblins sounds just awful. We'll put Egil in, of course. Let's get Duke out on the side there and Ike. A lot of sword and boards, pretty good for killing goblins. Aid Blade's range defense is not the best, but Karstein's is. I'm just kind of remembering what happened here last time, and I don't want to have it happen again. So I kind of want, I kind of want the professionals on this. There's a couple guys that are that'll be ranking up, like Houston. But the the range defense on everyone who's who's benched is pretty clearly extremely bad. So let's. I just want to win. I just want to go in there and I want to win. And then on the way home, we could probably get all these guys out to fight the skeletons. That's what I'm thinking. That'll be great. Let's do it. Oh, it, it just got up. Okay, wait a minute. It just changed. It just changed. A goblin overseer, a few shamans. Many ambushers and a plethora of skirmishers. Oh, why did it have to change just now? Can we do this? Can we do this? A plethora of skirmishers. Well, you know, the skirmishers aren't bad if you're not in range of them. The shamans are going to be awful, and the ambushers are going to be awful as well. Is there anything else we could do? We have to make some money. And there's nothing for miles. Oh, why did it have to change? It looks like it could be even worse than the first time we did it, depending on terrain. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll pop in there and we'll check the terrain. And if it's really bad, well, we can't just run away because of the shamans are going to use their magic to hold us in place. Okay, instead of that, why don't we go on up here to the skeletons? Let's hit these ones and then down here and then we'll go home. That's what we'll do. Change it up a little bit. We haven't fought skeletons in a while. How bad could it be? <laughs> a plethora of ancient auxiliaries and many necro savants. I'm kind of considering this. Because we have lots of heavy armor now. See, we could get Thilman, we could get Jost. Gaudron and Aidblade will have to be kind of locked in, so to speak. We might want to get Hacken in as well because they're undead and they can be a bit scary, so in case something goes wrong, that'll be good. So let's, okay, let's do Hacken, Jost, uh,. Aid Blade or Gaudron? Gaudron's level 3. And his pike does give him a bonus to hit. So does this one, though. 10%. And that does more damage, too. 60 to 80. I think we'll put Aid Blade in. Because Necro Savants are shifty. Okay, hammers on the sides. This might work. We could pretty much ignore the skeletons and just go after the Necro Savants. Wow, this, I don't know. Seems a bit scary to me, but. 
I think we're up for something crazy. I think we are. Let's do it. Ancient auxiliaries and many necro savants. Oh boy. Let's do it. A little bit of elevation. Well, no, this is good. Hacking, you've got the worst. You're the you're the worst at everything. So I think what I want you to do is get in the hole here, and then everyone else can just surround and hold the hill, so the necro savants could occasionally be forced onto the lower area. Let's do it. How are we going to do this? Let's get Aid Blade over there. Karsten there for now. We got to get moving fast because the as soon as the the auxiliaries touch us, that's when the Necro Savants are going to swoop in like crazy. Let's get Halston right there. Is this Duke? Yes, it is. Get him for there right now. Ike. Oh, Ike. I think we'll just step right up like this. Don't we have a second hammer? Where's Jost? Is, oh, Jost is all the way down here. Yeah, he is. Ugh. That's all right. Egil. Let's get down here for now. Oh boy. I think we can do this. I'm confident. I'm confident that the Saturnine is ready for this. Let's get Leonard over here. Alfred. Oh. Alfred. This is just the kind of battle where Alfred takes a, takes a spill, isn't it? <laughs> Let's just go this way for now. We want to make sure we have like a really tight formation so the um, uh, Necro Savants can't quite have their way with us. With our tankiest bros and our hammerers in places where they can constantly shatter. That is a lot of Necro Savants. But we do have Karsten. We do have Ike. We've got Thilman. Thilman's no chump on the hammer yet, no. And he's got a couple levels to go. Oh, he's a... He's just a brute. His armor is not fixed up. I should have done an armor check. I just got a little excited. And it's been a few days since I recorded, but it looks like it's only him. Yeah. Here comes those skeletons. Ooh, they're getting really close. Yeah, okay. Let's just keep waiting here for now. I don't know what about Karsten. That's my big worry right now. I do not know where to put Karsten. I could put him here. But let's see, if I put him here, then Egil can stand next to him. That seems like pretty much our only plan here. Duke. Wow, that's, that's not the right way to go for Duke. All these auxiliaries... Oh, the auxiliaries still have some turns left. Let's just wait. Let's get Egil over here. 
Oh, yeah, they're getting on on us now, aren't they? We'll wait there with Leonard. Let's get Alfred right here. Or do we want him right here? I think we want him right here, don't we? We have a gap. I was hoping to get Thilman up there and then Jost right here. That's... That's not going to work. Jost is going to have to go here instead. And then Alfred may be there next turn. I guess we'll see. No, Jost can get there. Yeah, he can, so let's just... Yeah, Thilman, go on up here. There we go. I'm trying to set it up so the hammers are on the outer edge where... Because the hammers, their only AoE is... is a slashing attack, not like swords where you have multiple choices. So I want to make it so they can hit everything all the time. Good, the savants are waiting one more turn. Hacking. Why don't we just, uh, yeah, do a little damage. Yeah, look at those skeletons. They're not quite eager on moving up on Duke. Oh, damn it. That's exactly what I didn't want. That is exactly what I didn't want. Duke is stuck now. 73% to hit him. That, if it kills him, that will be pretty great. Let's see if we can kill him. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Well, it's not ideal. But I wanted to get off the low ground. Ike, let's just kill this one. Nice free killing frenzies. All right, this is a tight formation. Oh yeah, here they come. I'm just sipping my tea while all these Necro Savants do their thing. It's really looking like the terrain could be working out in extreme favor for us here. All right, Aid Blade, 65% on a Necro Savant. Not. Not the best start for old Eight Blade here, but he's got plenty of time to prove himself. Skeletons are getting a little clever with their little pokey sticks. Wow, he was trying to move up, huh? Okay. Let's rally with Hacken. We've got a little... There we go. Thelman's cheered up nice and good. I want everyone to be happy because this is scary stuff. Let's see, I feel like we can pretty much ignore these auxiliaries for the most part, so let's go after these savants. Oh yeah, great hit from Halston. And with Karstein here, I think I just want to try and clear these skeletons off the, oh man. Karstein's a little rusty, he hasn't, <laughs> I don't know what these skeletons are trying to do, but they're not doing it very cleverly. Leonard, just hang out there. We're, we'll deploy you in case of emergency, and Egil is waiting for, for something bad to happen so we can step in as well. 88% with Ike. Well, he's got a spear. Let's shut him down. Yeah, wow, everyone's cheered up from that. Duke, oh, come on, we, oh, wait a minute. Wrong key, there we go. We, all, we already know what's gonna happen here. Yep, Duke. <laughs> Duke clears it out. Cattlemen, 
Another Necro Savant goes down. Wow. Wow, this is really working out for us, isn't it? Can we go after this one? Alfred. Yes, sir. Thilman. Ah, He broke the chain. Just. Yes. And is that it? You know, Leonard, why don't we... Why don't we get you over here, Leonard? That's perfect. And give that give that uh, vampire the old bonk. And with Egil, we'll step in. No, we'll stay there with Egil. Yeah, the the Necrosophants are probably going to give Egil a very wide berth. They don't want they don't want anything to do with him, I would think. Or they might go straight for him. I don't know. All right, Leonard takes a shot. Everything's okay. I'm pretty sure these things have the duelist perk. Oh yeah. <laughs> he changes his mind and decides the elevation's the best part. Oh yeah. Okay. Alfred's in a bit of a pickle there. Nothing he hasn't survived before. Okay, Karsten. I feel like Alfred can probably kill him, so why don't we go after this? There we go. Nice job, Karsten. Aid Blade. I think we should take that. Oh, damn. Still needs some levels, that's for sure. Egil. Oh, that wasn't quite what I wanted, but I'll take it. Why don't we do another rally? Oh, I was hoping to cheer up Leonard. Okay, Ike, let's just kill this. And wait. Halston. Wow, we hit that one in the head. Leonard. Can you beat this one down? Ooh, he's tough. The hammer is just not very good against him. Alfred, there you go. Slays another Necro Savant. Kettleman. That one is really bad shape. You know what? Let's rotate with Jost on Leonard here. That's not Leonard's forte, but this is just forte. Yep. And Duke. I'm tempted to kill the skeleton and then with our extra attack hit the Necro Savant. But if we don't kill that skeleton... Now let's just go after him. Oh, yes, sir. Thelman. Not the best. All right, what's next for us? Karsten is, uh, he's fine. Aid Blade's fine. Everyone's, everyone's fine. We're going to get through this. Look at that. Necro, Necro Savant can't even hit, can't even hit Egil when he has ter, uh, terrain advantage. Egil is just... The glory, most glorious tank. Skeletons are giving Karsten a little bit of the old what for. Alright, Karsten. 78% chance or 68, but that's... Well, we'll let Egil handle that. Wham! Yep. I love how they, like, deteriorate as you hurt them. Ugh, this game is such high quality. Alright, Aid Blade. Third time's a charm. Yes, Aid Blade kills a Necro Savant. Welcome aboard, Aid Blade. Egil slays another one as well. How many do we have left? Two? Lovely. Ike, why don't we get a little bit a little bit aggressive here? Get that one started on the road to hell. And this one? That one is down now too. This is pretty much in the bag. 
What about Hacken? Hacken kills the last Necro Savant. The battle is won. The battle is won. Duke. Yep, that one goes down. Let's go ahead and step down. We're gonna get right through these. Yep. No problem. No problem at all. Oh, Joss is tuckered out though. I think that's it with this turn. Oops, I should have used Deedrill, but eh, that's fine. We're gonna win this turn around anyway. We got through this without with uh, minimal trouble, really. Minimal trouble. Who cares? I'm just piling in so that when we do our attack, it just kills him. Everyone over here. There it is. Eagle, Thelman, Aid Blade. Bunch of level ups. What do we get? Ooh, Shimmering Ashes. That looks like it sells for a bit. We got some silverware, a silver bowl, a little bit of wine. These kopeshes sell for a good deal. Okay. A little bit of a haul there. Why don't we get Eagle go in here? Yep. Yep. You know, he could really kind kind of use some more health. Do I do we really need more melee defense with Eagle though is the question. I heard there there's diminishing returns, but I'm not the, the sort to spend like days reading up on the finer details. I kinda just get the feel for things, if you know what I mean. Range defense might be nice on Eagle though. Sure. Help against those goblins. Thelman? Plus three, okay, plus three, very good. Oh my god, Thilman. Yeah. Plus five fatigue, holy cow. He's gonna be able to wear the heaviest, most cumbersome armor. What do we want to do with him? We still have some levels left. Recover seems like it would be amazing because he would recover so much fatigue with using it. But we'll we'll probably take that as his final level if if it turns out he needs it. We could go with footwork. That's kind of cool with uh, a two-handed weapon when rotate isn't really the best. We could do, we could do like quick hands and bags and belts, which, and he could just carry all sorts of two-handed weapons for the occasion. It's hard to resist killing frenzy. It's just so good. Same with berserk. And he's got the fatigue to really, to really put Berserk to good use. Let's give him Berserk. Sure. That's, that's hard to go wrong with that one. When he's got the hammer, he could do a shatter and probably kill one thing and then do a single attack to kill another. Aid Blade? Ooh, not good on that melee attack. Not good on that melee attack. That's, um... It's a pretty good indicator that we could be moving towards Spear Mastery. I think we're going to want this fatigue, though. We'll want health, but two points does not seem good. I think the range defense will be nice. Let's pick up Underdog. Oh, Magnus over here is a little unhappy. I don't know why he's unhappy that he missed out on Necro Savants, but uh, you know, that's his prerogative. 
Yes, we used minimal tools. Why don't we see what's up here first before we do anything? Maybe there's an orc hideout somewhere. A plethora of ancient legionaries and a few necro savants. That's kind of like just what we just fought, except it's not auxiliaries. Just poking around up here, looking for action. It looks like this is kind of like skeleton land, though, so I don't, I don't really know how feasible this is. Let's head into the mountain in the morning. Yeah, not the best. A plethora of ancient legionaries. That's that's different. They're gonna have pikes and stuff. And a few necro savants to rub it in as well. But we just did this with flying colors. Oh, Magnus cheered up. Interesting. Hmm. We just we just did that other battle pretty well, if you ask me. But we did have a number of advantages. Boy, that's a lot of ancient legionaries, isn't it? That could turn out to be very different. But on the other hand... On the other hand, I think we can handle it. Let's do an armor check. Is anyone a little battered up? I know Karsten took a couple hits, but he seems to be okay. Vilman's alright. Jost is just fine. Look at the difference between Jost and Alfred, or, and, uh, 260, 320. We really need to find some Hedge Knights. I do not know what the deal is, but we have only seen one Hedge Knight in almost 200 days. It's really, really affecting our late game here. We don't have good armor. We're using, I mean, this is bad. But we keep plundering. Hopefully, hopefully something comes our way. All right, I think we'll just take the same crew. We just had a smashing success, and I think, I think we should try that again here. Boy, I hope I'm not regretting this. A plethora of ancient legionaries. Okay. It would appear as though we've been granted another blessing of good terrain. Seventeen enemies? I should have counted. I didn't see how many there are of the Necro Savants, but we're all heavy armor. It's not particularly scary. I'm more worried about the pikes, actually. Okay, let's send Hacken up here to scope it out. Not the best scope out. Halston, what about you? Okay, there we go. If we can tempt the skeletons into coming up at us like this, hopefully not like this, then we're golden again. In the meantime, let's get Ike here. Oh yeah, okay, there's some over there. This is gonna be like, Egil's spot. Egil and Alfred maybe, or Kettleman, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this develops. Let's get Karsting moving. Aid Blade, get moving. Get Duke right there. Yeah, Egil. Okay, that's a lot of skeletons and stuff. Right on. 
Leonard, yeah, you move too. Kettleman's. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of an awkward battle, the way this is going to turn out. Let's get Thelman right here. Actually, Joss can go there, so let's get Thelman a little bit further. We'll figure out his spot later. Okay, good. The skeletons are coming up this way. Their AI might just make them just kind of march forward. They do have some kind of tactics but they, they kind of employ them a little bit later. So it looks like they're gonna come straight at us, which is excellent. Egil is gonna have his work cut out for him. I don't wanna get him here, cause that's, that could be too much even for Egil. But Egil here and Kettleman here, or Kettleman here and Egil here, probably. In case they come around the side here, Egil will be there. Something like that. Ike, are you in a good spot? I suppose you can blast through like this. But it's kind of awkward. I want to get the hammers on the edges here so that they've got lots of swinging space. So, yeah, I guess we'll get Ike there. Leonard can't climb up. Everyone else is done. Okay, there's only three Necro Savants. It looks like they're going to wait. Let's get hacking all the way up here and kind of out of everyone's way for now. Same with Karsten. And Aid Blade, keep climbing. Duke, let's go back here. And Halston, that's actually, I like that spot. Let's go there. Let's see, Eagle's gonna go, and then Skeletons. Okay, let's get him there. Egil, good, you can make it to your spot. That's good. Maybe this is better for Ike. Because he's going to be able to blast through on him. Cattleman can go somewhere else. Yeah, Ike, you're going to go here. Leonard, you just step up. Oh, crap. All right. Not good down here. How are we going to get Alfred out of that mess? Let's just hope he can. We'll come down and save him if we have to, but I'm going to try and uh, shield wall and then get out of here, probably. Nice. We can slowly make our way backwards with Alfred here by doing that. What are we going to do about these? There's only three of them. They can't be that bad. Famous last words. <laughs> uh. We'll just stay in position here and deal with it when the time comes. We'll leave Thilman in the back, probably, so that he can jump on any... on any vampires that he needs to. Let's actually get him, like, right here. So... People will be discouraged from attacking Hacken directly. We know they like to go after our sergeants. Oh yeah. It begins. Oh, that legionary is getting a little clever, isn't he? Okay, here they come. There's the first. He gets up on Egil. One gets on Thilman. And one... Another gets on Egil. Ooh. Okay. Duke. How many action points does Duke have? 
two. He can't move at all. Let's go ahead and step Aid Blade then. Wow, Egil just almost broke from... Just from getting a little overwhelmed there. I don't like that. I think we're going to need Leonard down here. Let's just leave him where he is for now. Jost, you too, Alfred. Can't do anything with Alfred. And Kettleman can just do what he's doing. All right, here we go. Nastiness. They're going to get all over Thelman. Is that what they're trying to do there? Oh, he goes after... Oh! That's a pretty darn good hit. Let's rally. Good. Egil rallies up a bit. Karsten. Yes. Show that one a thing or two. And start just kind of moving. Aid Blade. Oh, damn. Let's make room for, for just other people here. Duke, namely. Let's wait with Leonard. Okay, Ike. This is why you're here. You're supposed to blast through and hit that. Nice. Gives you a little bit of reach advantage. 43. Not the best, but at least you hit. Halston. Let's get around and start working on these if we can. And Duke. There's no sense in getting up on that one, but you know what? Why don't we move up? Do I really want to drop a dog, though? Karsten did get pretty hard, but we have to travel across the entire world to get dogs. At which, I mean, it costs thousands of gold just to walk up there in, in paydays. So I don't think I'm going to do it. It's way too expensive. We'll do it in case of an emergency. How far can we taunt? Not far enough. Let's wait with Kettleman here. They're going to be all over him soon. Okay, Ejol. Well, Ejol hasn't been hit yet. I think we'll just fight this thing. That was not good. Alfred's shield walling. He seems like he's going to be okay, but you know what? That's a lot of skeletons. Thelman? Nope. Showed that one a thing or two. And Jost, sadly, you cannot shatter from here. I'm thinking we're going to rotate with Jaw so he can do shatters on... Well, is it even worth it? They're all blocking. That one's a sure thing. I think we'll just do single attacks. Damn it. We need long axes. Alfred... That's actually not the worst melee defense in the world. I think we'll just have at it here and see what... Wow. Okay, now he's in trouble. Well, or not. Now he's definitely in trouble, so we're going to be shield wall spamming with Alfred there for sure. Look, Alfred just manages to find himself in, the, in some interesting situations, doesn't he? Leonard! There we go! Duke. There's got to be something we can do with Duke, but for now, it's not much. Because if we step anywhere, he's not going to be able to do anything anyway. Oh. Let's just wait. I don't like the way this is turning out, but it could be worse. Kettleman, yeah, we gotta kill, we gotta kill, get some kills here if we can. Egil actually gets hit. 
Karsten takes a hit, and this one gets on him too. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, Aid Blade. Hmm, doesn't quite get one there, does he? Halston. Let's step in here and start helping out. 43%. Not good. Duke cannot rotate. For a while there, I thought he could. Let's just step up. See if we can kill one. Nice. Very nice. Let's step up again so we get an outnumber bonus for whoever else comes in there. Let's just take a shot with Hacken. Nice. Okay. All right. Now we can redouble our effort here against the skeletons. Wait a minute. Is there another one? Oh, yeah. There's one more alive. Damn it. Let's just get hacking over here. Alfred's in trouble. He loves trouble. Maybe he's got like an, an adrenaline addiction. He was a thief, you know, he, he gets, he liked the high of stealing from people and now he likes the high of getting surrounded by six enemies at a time. Okay, that destroy armor attack certainly did what it says it does. Ejol, you've got three pikes on you. Grants plus 25 melee defense. Why don't we use Indomitable instead? Because I'm pretty sure melee defense is kind of like a diminishing return and his, his is already extremely high, so why don't we make it so that the hits he takes is not not the worst thing in the world. Well, we got him. Oh! Alfred is in a very bad spot now. He just got shield checked. Wow. Okay. Alright, Karsten, what are we going to do with you? I kind of want to get you over there so that you can hit those two spots. Ideally, you could go where Aid Blade is. Let's just kill that one first of all. Karsten needs to recover. Let's just get him over here for now. And the next turn, we're going to probably end up recovering anyway. Ike, do another blast. Great. One down, one severely injured. Alfred. Oh, my God. What if this is the end of Alfred right here? Just there goes one. I think we'll actually step down with Jost onto these pikes. Kettleman. And let's get Thilman. I want Thilman right here because Karstein's in the most trouble and I really, really, really want to dissuade this Necro Savant from getting on top of him. So let's go here. Boy, Alfred, holding out, holding out. We can't shield wall, let's recover. So next turn we can. Let's just leave Aid Blade where he is. And Duke can start making his way over here to rescue Alfred, probably. And that's it for this turn. Alright, what does this thing do? Oh, he just goes after Egil. Who takes only half damage. Great. Aid Blade, 70%. 
Not having the best luck there, eh, Blade? That's too bad. You'll, you'll get there. Hacking. Yeah, let's take a step and go after this second savant. Nice. 43%. There we go. Houston lands a great hit. Duke. Yep, charge down the hill. You gotta help uh, Alfred out there. Alfred holding out like a champ. Terrified, probably. Let's start getting Thilman. No, but if Egil misses, let's just wait. I want to make sure this is dead before we move Thilman. Leonard, I would like to move you down, but that is a lot of pikes. Why don't we wait with you? Alfred, definitely shield wall. Ike, that one goes down. Let's step up. Kettleman, a couple of solid hits. That's nice. Joss is going to take some some major uh, hits for his kind of arrogance of stepping down on them, but that's how Joss rolls. Let's get Car... Well, let's not get Karstein up there. He is beaten. Let's go just recover. Joss, you can't shatter. I was hoping you'd be able to, so let's just wallop this guy. Whoa-wee! Wallop indeed. I wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Egil? There we go. Slain. Let's step in on that one. Now Aidblade can step down here. He's, he shouldn't be threatened. Let's get Halstein here. He should be going before the skeletons. And Thilman, let's get you limping on down there. And Leonard, you can step down and help out too. There we go. Nice hit. Let's get down here with Karsten and maybe kill this one. No. Aidblade? There you go, buddy. Hacken, let's just rally. There we go. Eagle's happy. All right, Duke, begin operation to save Alfred. Halston. Let's go after that one. And then, well, we're going to have to take a shot from one of these guys. Ooh, Alfred really needs help. Let's get Thilman down here now to help. Don't worry, Alfred. Help is on the way. All the Saturnite's heaviest hitters are on their way to help you right now. Just hang on, buddy. Oh, hang on, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Leonard, let's step up on this skeleton. And... Shield wall, actually. <laughs> oh, they go after Jost. I didn't want to, I didn't want these two to nail Leonard. Leonard's not quite at the level where he could just, you know, take shots like that all day. Let's get Kettleman down here now. And recover with Alfred. Egil, let's recover with you as well. And Jost, I think a recover is in order. Yeah, that way next turn you can step down and shatter. That would be awesome. All right, let's step up with Karsten. Give that one a good, good one. A good hit. Aid Blade. Nice. There we go. Aid Blade's finally turning it around. Duke gets a kill. Move in. Egil rested up, kills another one. Let's get Halstein. 
Ah, uh, there's fine. All right, Jaws, step on down and do a big one. There we go. Clear a path. Clear a path. We'll send Ike down this way. And hacking down here to cheer everyone up. Alfred, just hang on. Oh. Even his shield's getting beat down. Thelman? Nope. Yep, these pikes. Oh, Joss is really taking a lot of hits. Leonard, come on down here. Kettleman. One more turn, probably. Duke. Good hit. Let's get Eagle down here. Boy, recover is so great. They're just, everyone's back in action. Oh, Alfred. Taking a lot of hits there for his trouble. Halston gets a kill. Let's rest with Hacken. Thelman? Oh, almost got it. Joss takes another hit there. Alfred, can you fight your way out? You're getting there. Leonard? There we go. Oh. Well, let's just move Jost in for next turn. There we go. Houston gains a level, and that's it. Ooh, what's this? A reinforced wooden heater shell made from the finest materials and quite obviously crafted by a master shield maker. Look at those stats. I'm pretty sure that's amazing. Why don't we take it and find out? At this point, I know shields are not the best kind of magic items, but you know what? I'm just happy that we got something finally. Let's take a look. So we've got 15 and 25 on a kite shield with 48 durability. So this is more of a melee shield. That's good. It has the same health of a melee shield, though. So it's much less fatigue and definitely way higher melee defense. But you wouldn't really want to use it against, like, uh, orcs, I think, because orcish weapons can just blast right through a shield like this, even with you have shield mastery. But overall, I like it. Who are we going to give it to? Seventy-one melee defense with Eagle there. I think that's actually kind of overdoing it. Kettleman, on the other hand, looks pretty nice. The fatigue really helps. Let's take Halston's level here while we have him. Ooh, two is not good. Four is great. Halston may not work out. He might not work out. He's supposed to be Karstein 2.0 though. And he is definitely coming up short on the melee skill portion of Karsten. <laughs> I like Berserk for the for the bill hooks. Let's take it. I don't know what to do with the shield. It could it could do well in Aid Blade's hands, although his melee defense could be incredibly high anyway. I'm thinking on giving it to Leonard. Cause he does not have the best melee defense. I know Leonard's our duelist guy. 
but he'll have a lot of fatigue carrying this thing around even in his inventory, which is kind of amazing, actually. And he, he's... His melee defense is god-awful, and now and again, busting out the shield could make a lot of difference for Leonard here. You know what? I think we're going to do that for now. We can always, you know, pass it off to someone else. But for now, I think it's going to go in Leonard's hands. Spiffy Leonard. Very spiffy. Another six melee defense. Interesting. It, it's almost tempting to give you shield expert as a result. I know you have duelist, but I was planning on giving you quick hands and you could just like constantly swap out your shield and stuff and just wallop people when they're when they're not expecting it. I don't know. I don't know. We have a lot of uh, perks left to pick. So perk, perk left to pick. Perk pick. Pick perk. Um, I think we're ready to get moving though. We have a full inventory. Oh my god, this episode is kind of just like kind of goofing around here, but we had a couple of good fights there. A lot of Necro Savants, that's for sure. A lot of people beat up though. Well guys, thanks for watching. We got it we got a magic item. Awesome. And we have someone who can use it. Even more awesome. Oh, the tool situation is bad. But we need to go home and make a make a lot of money. Maybe we'll hit this on the way out. Maybe. I think I think we can handle it. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.